Big Boy Big Neighborhood, boy. it is a pleasure to have this man back in the neighborhood. I always love having Harvey Levin on our show yeah. as opposed to my being on his. That's true. Yeah. Harvey <laughs> Levin from TMZ. How you doing, Harvey? I'm good. How are you guys? Man, we are doing amazing, brother. It is a pleasure to see you, Harvey. And I love being on your show, big boy. Man, we love to have you on, bro. And this one right here, I, you know, I reached out for Harvey mm -hmm. because, Harvey, we've seen so many people have these Michael Jackson investigations or someone's always trying to do something. But when I saw that there is a TMZ investigation is, and it's who really killed Michael Jackson, when TMZ put their name on something, I know that I'm about to watch something different. Now, what is TMZ Investigates who really killed Michael Jackson? Well, look, I, I got to tell you, we broke the story of Michael's death mm. and followed it very carefully um, through the whole saga. And I will say this. If you think the beginning and end of this is that Dr. Conrad Murray, who was at Michael's bedside when he died, that he is solely responsible for Michael's death, you don't understand this story at all. The real story is shocking, big boy, shocking. And I am talking about oh multiple doctors over a period, not just of years, but decades. Doctors who got Michael Jackson addicted, kept him addicted, helped Michael connive to get drugs. When Michael died, he had 19 aliases that yeah. he used to get drugs. And you know, Michael needed opioids after that horrible burn from the Pepsi commercial back in 1984. And rather than getting him, weaning him off those drugs, a lot of these doctors mm. kept him on it because they wanted his company to be in the company of a big celebrity. And they fueled this addiction and never got him off it. And it's a shocking story. And Conrad Murray was late to the game. When you do something like an uh, uh, investigation like this and you go through all these layers, Harvey, do you also get a little concerned about you, your team, y'all safety as well? Because I've heard certain things and I'm like, I'm not touching that, you know, but do you feel like, man, we have to investigate this? But are you also a little bit concerned about about your whereabouts and your, or your team? No, because, right. look, I mean, th this is. No. And, you know, and that is not to say not in every story, but certainly not in this story. Right. This is a story that needs to be told. And we talk to a lot of people, big boy. We've mm -hmm. spoken with. In fact, you'll, you will see she's never done an interview before. Right. Uh, Debbie Rowe, who is Michael's ex-wife, the mother of two of his kids. She worked for a doctor named Arnie Klein. Yeah, Dr. Klein. Beverly, Beverly Hills for 27 years. And the things she tells us that went on in this office, they're jaw-dropping, jaw-dropping. Michael met Debbie in that office. Arnie Klein would not, I don't want to just say regularly, every day for the last three months, four months of Michael's life, Michael would go to Arnie's office and, and Arnie, Arnie Klein would shoot him up with Demerol for no good reason other than for, to allow Michael to get high and did this over and over and over again. And, you know, we have the detective on who um, arrested Conrad Murray, who says on camera, the lead detective in the case says it was really unfair to lay all this blame on Conrad Murray. Wow. But there are a lot of other people and there are, he's right. And when you talk about Dr. Klein, I didn't know that Dr. Klein was still involved in Michael Jackson's life three to four months. Or, you know, I thought that he was so far in the rearview mirror that I even thought most of it was Dr. Conrad Murray as opposed to anything with Dr. Klein. I didn't even know well, leading up to. Every day, big boy, every day. We even have video of uh, Conrad, you'll see it, Con uh, Michael Jackson walking into Arnie Klein's office and he looks fine. He comes out, he looks oh like a God. zombie. He looks like a zombie. Arnie Klein would um, have Christmas with Michael. He would go on vacations with Michael. He called Michael his best friend. And that is a huge problem. When doctors become the best friend of their patients, there's a reason for that. Michael didn't gravitate to Arnie Klein because of his sparkling personality. Arnie Klein got in the company of a big celebrity. And in return, 
he fueled Michael with drugs. And of course, I know Arnie Klein, Dr. Klein, did he he definitely didn't sit down and speak with you guys, right? Well, interestingly, about gosh, I, I, four or five months after Klein, after Michael died, Arnie Klein came into this office and did an interview with us on TMZ Live. And we talked to him about a lot of this stuff. In the context of this documentary in 2022, the things he said back then, now that we've been able to piece all of this together, are revelations. Man, so we get a chance to watch it tonight. TMZ investigates who really killed Michael Jackson. And after tonight, where does it live on stream? Does it live on Hulu or where do we catch it after? after? It'll be on Hulu the next day, but it's on Fox tonight at 8 o'clock. And Man. Big boy, I'm telling you, we've done a lot of these investigations, documentaries. This one, as far as I'm concerned, it just takes the cake. It is, and you know what? It is shocking. We've also been looking, I'm saying we, but I have been intrigued with where uh, Richard Simmons had been at for the last, you know, probably, what, almost a decade, it felt like. More than and eight years. Yeah. you guys pretty much did that as well because he wasn't coming out speaking to anyone. And, you know, was it abuse? Was he being hidden? Things of that nature. So when, when TMZ investigates, you guys go so deep. And I'm in, like, I love investigative television. I only watch documentaries. So when I saw that this who really killed Michael Jackson was coming and it was coming from a TMZ investigation, I'm all in. You, well, you, got, you. you got me tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, after it airs tonight, uh, and you want to talk again, there's a yes. lot to talk about. There is a I lot do. to talk about. Yeah. I do, man. And on another subject, if I may ask real quick, Mar-a-Lago, with the FBI investigation on Donald Trump, where do you see this going, Harvey? You know, if it were anybody other than Donald Trump, they'd be prosecuted. Right. I don't know what Merrick Garland's going to do. I don't know whether this goes to a grand jury or not. But when you look at him having all of these top secret documents, some of which were in his drawer, in his desk drawer at Mar-a-Lago. It's almost surreal. And this whole idea that he declassified them, number one, you can't do that after, after you leave office. But number two, even if he did, number one, why would he declassify sensitive documents like that? And number two, even if they were declassified, he still doesn't have a right to that stuff. That's the government's property. And the idea that he is saying, oh, those boxes are mine. You know, I've heard other people say this. It is literally like a five-year-old child saying that's mine, but right. it's not. Right. And so I don't know where this is going to lead, but I, I really believe if anybody defied um, the, you know, subpoenas and, and then withheld information after they said they gave it all, They'd be prosecuted. Right, man. He's like a real Teflon Don, bro. It's like nothing penetrates, nothing mm -hmm. sticks to this to this we'll guy. Yeah. We'll see. We'll I remember see. the whole lock her up over the emails, and it's like, man, when when do we chant lock him up? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I mean, if, if the if if you know his point about the emails was she had sensitive information uh <laughs> on her computer. He had stuff in the basement where people get badminton equipment. I mean, my <laughs> God. No, it's true. I mean, that's actually crazy. true. It's crazy. Man, yeah. well, Harvey Levin, once again, thank you for coming into the neighborhood. TMZ investigates who really killed Michael Jackson, man. Tonight on Fox. And tonight on Fox, are we, what time are we? Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Eight, Eight o'clock tonight on Fox, man. Watch it live. And then once we watch it live, we'll get back together again, Harvey. For those who can't watch it live, make sure you stream it. It'll be right there available for you on Hulu. But I cannot wait to see this. And Harvey Levin, Thank you once again for your time and coming into the neighborhood. We appreciate you, bro. Drop, drop.